In this video, you are going to learn forecasting. Topics I have discussed in this video are, what is forecasting, methods of forecasting, process of forecasting, and benefits of forecasting. Let's start the video. Forecasting is a technique for making predictions of the direction of future trends, based on analysis of past and present data. Businesses use forecasting, to determine how to allocate their plan for anticipated expenses, for an upcoming period of time. Basically, it is a decision-making tool that helps businesses cope with the impact of the future's uncertainty, by examining historical data and trends. It is a planning tool that enables businesses to chart their next moves, and create budgets that will hopefully cover whatever uncertainties may occur. Now come to the methods of forecasting. Companies choose between two basic methods, when they want to predict what can happen in the future, namely, qualitative and quantitative methods. 1. Qualitative method. Qualitative method is also known as the judgmental method, qualitative forecasting offers subjective results, as it is comprised of personal judgments by experts or forecasters. Qualitative forecasts are often biased because they are based on the expert's knowledge, experience, and rely on data. One example is when a person forecasts the outcome of a football game, which is based more on personal motivation and interest. Second one is quantitative method. The quantitative method of forecasting is a mathematical process, making it consistent and objective-oriented. It drives away from basing the results on opinion and feelings, instead of utilizing large amounts of data and figures that are interpreted. Process of Forecasting Forecasters need to follow a careful process, in order to generate accurate results. Let's discuss some steps in the process. Step 1. Develop the basis of forecasting. The first step in the process is developing the basis of the investigation of the company's condition, and identifying where the business is currently standing in the market. Step 2. Estimate the future operations of the business. Based on the investigation carried out during the first step, the second part of forecasting involves estimating the future conditions of the industry, where the business operates, and projecting how the company will handle. Step 3. Regulate the forecast. This involves looking at different forecasts in the past, and comparing them with the actual impact that happened with the business. Then analyze differences in previous results and current forecasts, and then the reasons for the deviations are considered. The last step is review the process. Every step is checked, and they made refinements and modifications. Now move on to the benefits of forecasting. 1. Helps to predict the future. It gives management a general idea of what to expect. This provides the company with a sense of direction, which will allow it to function better in the marketplace. 2. Good for customers. If a company can predict demand, it is more likely to make sure its products are always available. There is a greater chance of meeting orders and delivering on time. 3. Keeps a company up to date. Businesses that forecast regularly must think ahead all the time. This helps them anticipate changing market trends. 4. Learn from past experience. Gathering and analyzing past data, helps people remember what worked previously, and what didn't. Learning from experience strengthens us. 5. Receiving financing. If the company needs a loan for a project, the bank will need information about the future, such as sales, profits, etc. The bank needs that data before it will consider approving the loan. If you want to read in details and download the PDF, go through the link in the description. Like the video, and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel.